everybody, and welcome to Pokemon Soul Silver. I apologize for my probably failed attempts to capture the opening of this game properly, but unlike Pokemon Leaf Green, Soul Silver has a tendency to really, really, really favor the touchscreen because the touchscreen did not exist back in Leaf Green's days, so <laughs> Soul Silver decided to compensate for that, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I told you guys I was gonna be doing another Pokemon Let's Play soon, and I knew from the get-go that I really wanted to do Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, for a couple of reasons. For one thing, I've been wanting to go back and replay this game for a very, very, very long time because Soul Silver and Heart Gold are actually some of my favorite Pokemon games out of the entire series, no joke. Uh, and secondly, because you know it's a region or a Pokemon that centers a Pokemon game that centers on the region Johto, which is the second region. And in a way, Soul Silver is actually kind of a sequel to Leaf Green in terms of like the storyline and how things continue and progress and whatnot. Um, so yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to overcome any slash all future obstacles that this touchscreen presents. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too much right now, though. Hopefully, we, we should be just fine. We, we should be fine, in theory. Anyways, let's go on ahead and start, because I am so ready to begin this Let's Play. I'm so excited. I will first tell you important things about this game, and I had a save file on this already, but it was like just three hours. I had like one badge, it was kind of pathetic. Uh, anyway, so, um, hello random blue text from nowhere, okay, I will tell you, I will first tell you important things about this game. Please touch any topic you'd like to know more about on the lower screen. How about we don't touch the topics, because I don't want to have to use the stylus, it'll just get in the way of filming. I'm gonna say no info needed. No worries about that. All right, are we going to have a Pokemon professor talk to us? Dot, 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 dot. Yawn. Oh, that's me. That's me right now. I'm really actually very tired right now, so whoever's yawning, I definitely am relating to you right now. Huh? What? Is it already that late? Oh, no, I overslept. Oh, that's also me. That's also me. I overslept actually quite a bit today, although it doesn't really matter because it's summer and I don't have any pressing obligations, so... I mean, Professor Oak. <clears throat> oh gosh, I'm gonna have to fight to keep myself from not telling, or to keep myself from calling him Old Duff. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna fight it. I'm gonna call him Old Duff anyways. Hi, Old Duff! Oh, anyways, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon! Thanks. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. How generic. How did you earn a title like that when technically all of you are Pokemon Professors? All of the professors in these games are Pokemon Professors. Why do you get to be THE Pokemon Professor? Because you were the original? Fair enough. Okay, before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. Oh boy. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Oh gosh darn it, I thought we were gonna go to the place full of Digimon! Man, I got the wrong game, now we gotta start over. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What Pokemon are you gonna send out? A Meryl! Aw, cute little water type. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Oh, okay. I guess that Meryl just evaporated, which kinda works, cause it's a water type. Yeah? Get it? <laughs> uh, we're not even five minutes in and I'm already making horrible jokes. Okay. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, let me guess. You're gonna ask me if I'm a boy or a girl, because that's what you're known for. Are you a boy? Or are you a girl? I knew it. Won't you please tell me? Okay, well, I am a girl. The character selection is on the bottom screen, so you can't see them, but I'm going to choose a girl who has gravity-defying pigtails. Okie dokie, then. So, you're a girl, then. Yes, indeed, you do, I am. Please tell me your name. I can do that. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. L. A. U. Oh, not an S. Gosh darn it. I spelled that wrong. R. A. That's me. Laura. Your name is Laura. Yes, I am Laura. You may alternatively call me Pippi, but I'm going to be calling my first Pokemon that, whatever it ends up being. So, Laura, are you ready? Ready for what? Is there, like, a spontaneous thing that I need to be prepared for? Do my years of ninja training need to kick in right now so I'm ready for anything? I wish I had years of ninja training, but alas. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Ooh, yay, I like the sound of that. Fun experiences, difficult experiences, there's so much waiting for you. Aw, can we just skip the difficult experiences? Man, whatever. 
Dreams Adventure! Let's go to the world of Pokemon! But what about the world of Digimon? Nah, when I go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later! Oh, cool, so we're gonna see the old Duff later. It's me! Oh, it's Mini-Me! It is Mini-Me! It's Mini-Me! I'm so small! Seriously, look at those freaking pigtails! Gravity-defying pigtails! I do not understand. How much freaking hair gel did I have to use to get my hair to look like this? This is so weird. Okay, anyways, oh, ooh, my room. I have a computer! Or I booted up the PC and checked the mailbox. Oh, I actually have a thing of mail here on the bottom from someone named Ethan. I know someone named Ethan in real life. He's pretty cool. Shout out to him, even though I doubt he'll ever see this. Adventure! Excited! I love Pokemon! The picture of a Meryl. Okay, thanks, Ethan. That's totally a coherent email that people would send to each other. Whatever. Alright, well, he seems rather uh, excited as his email states. Uh, what else do we have? Ooh! Look, we got an upgrade from the Ness! It's a Wii! Wii is huge in Johto, too! <laughs> Casual Nintendo product placement. I freaking love it. Okay, uh, I have a TV! I actually have my own TV in my room here. Let's see. There's a TV here. Am I gonna watch it? Okay, I guess I have more important things to do. Anyways, nice cute little room, I suppose. I have a nice little tree in the corner. I like that. If I'm gonna be going out on a grand adventure, who's gonna- or grand adventure, who's gonna take care of my tree? Who's gonna water it? Is it gonna die? I'm sorry, tree. I have more pressing matters to get to. I'll never forget you, tree! Never forget you. Okay. Oh, hey, it's my mom! Maybe this mom will actually be more devoted to my life and give a crap about what I'm doing than my Kanto mom. Hi, Laura, you're finally awake. I know, right? I slept in. Do I have any pressing matters to attend to in this game, unlike in real life? Your friend Ethan was just here. Oh, okay, so Ethan is a person who I actually know. That's good. He was playing hide-and-seek with his Meryl. Oh, that would explain the Meryl sticker. Is this by any chance the same Meryl that evaporated earlier in front of Professor Oak? Eh, whatever. Anyways, oh, I almost forgot our acquaintance Professor Elm was looking for you. Oh, hey, another professor named after a tree. I wonder if this is gonna become a pattern. Hmm. He said he had a favor to ask of you. A fa oh, I don't like that. I have a weird feeling that somehow in this scenario, favor is supposed to be translated into errand. And I really have had enough of Pokemon professors giving me errands to run. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Um, everything except my running shoes? <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I'd like to be able to, you know, move at a uh, reasonable pace on this uh, venture outside. Could you maybe get me my running shoes? Please, Mom, I don't want to have to walk at a sloth's pace. Here, use this bag to carry things. Oh, we're getting our menu. This is your trainer card. Here you can save a record of your progress. Very important. These are also rather helpful. Oh, the options, thank goodness. Now we're not gonna have to watch the text crawl by at a sloth's pace. Everything is at a sloth's pace at the start of this game. The text, me walking so ridiculously slowly. Okay, anyways, just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. Thanks, Mom. Already, you're much more devoted to me and my life than my Kanto mom, so thanks. I have a feeling I'm gonna like you a lot better. But yeah, you can't see the menu in this game because it's actually on the bottom screen in this game. Unlike the previous one, I just pressed start to open the menu. Gosh darn it, I'm gonna have to get used to the X button. Okay, so, um... Okay, first things first that I really want to do, I want to go to the options and change the text speed too fast. What does it look like if it goes slow? Oh dear lord, who would ever play with that setting? Okay, fast. Um, let's see, everything else looks good. Oh! Oh hey, we can change the window type, that's right, I always forget about that. Uh, what window type should we have? Ooh, I like the sparkly one. Let's see, ooh, that one looks really cool. Um, oh that one's neat. Looks kind of like a pond, like with the blue, and then the little green dots are like lily pads. I like that. That's pretty. That one's pretty cool, too. Clouds. I kind of like that one, too. I think I've used that one in one of these games before. Generic Pokeball thing. Oh, lacy window. Okay. Flowers! And I don't know what that is. It's brick wall. And then sparkly crystals. Hmm. I don't know which one to pick. Yeah, we're just gonna spend, like, this whole episode trying to decide on a window type. <laughs> I kind of like the pond one. But it looks a little bit over the top at the same time. 
kind of like the simple flower one too, but I also really like the crystal one. You know what? Let's go with the crystal one. That one looks cool. I like that one. Okay. Sweet. Alrighty. Well, our tech speed may going fa be going faster now, but I'm not going any faster. Hey, does the TV down here have anything on it? The TV is playing a movie. Oh, hey, and I'm blocking my mother's view of it. That's actually really rude. I'm so sorry, Mom. Two boys are in a cave searching for treasure. I better get going. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the time for this. I have my own caves and treasure to find and explore and whatnot. What's in the fridge? <gasps> is there food? Can I raid the fridge? Lots of drinking water and sweet lemonade. Where's the food? We can't live off of water and lemonade, Mom. Gosh darn it. I know you think that I need to stay hydrated, and I do because I'm a growing girl, but I need food, too. Man. Okay, anyways, let's go on ahead and head out into the town, or whatever it is. Oh, hey. Ah, what? Hey, it's a little Meryl that ran into me. You're a little bit slow. Whoa there, friend. I think you need to slow down a little bit. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, I'm convinced that that Meryl is a little, uh, out of it. Did you see how that thing spun around? And uh, Is that normal? I don't freaking know. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, look. There's, like, windmills and stuff. That's so cool. <gasps> does this town, like, run on wind power instead of just electricity? Like, does it use wind power to generate electricity? Are we a green town? Oh, dude, I love it. I love it. And there's wind everywhere, so it would make sense that we would use it for that. There's a sign, New Bark Town, winds of a new beginning, ah ha ha. Hello, who are you? I like your bag. Thanks. Alrighty, who are you? Or, oh, hey, you look like, you look kind of familiar. Are you going to tell me about a bunch of uh, stuff about how technology is incredible and stuff? Hey, dude, yo, Laura. Oh, you know who I am. I guess that makes sense since this is such a small town. I hear Professor Realm discovered some new Pokemon. <gasps> he did what now? Oh my gosh. Well, that is definitely something that I need to go investigate right the heck now. That sounds really awesome. What the heck? <laughs> Uh, okay. There's some red-haired person who appears to be stalking Professor Elm's lab? Uh, okay. Should I, like, call the police or something? This town's so small we don't even have a police force, do we? Should I do something? Um, excuse me. Hey, what are you what are you looking at? Are you looking for the new Pokemon that Professor Rom discovered? I want to see those too. Um, could I maybe join you in stalking his lab in that case? Hello. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? What are you staring at? You're the one being a creepy person staring through the window. Uh, oh, oh, jeez. Gee, rude. Look at that, you kicked me away and then got all kicked up all this dust that's probably all over my clothes and my gravity-defying hair. Gosh, jerk. Okay, fine then. Whatever. Stalk him for all I care. Freaking creeper. Okay. <clears throat> um, so this is the lab. Oh, I could stalk him through this window. That would probably be a bit too, more, too much obvious. I don't... Oh, there's a nice little staircase that goes up here. I'm gonna just enter Professor Elm's house. Oh, is this his family? Hi, Laura. My husband's always so busy. I hope he's okay. When he's caught up in his Pokemon research, he even forgets to eat. Holy crap. Yeah, I worry about that, too. Uh, hello. Are you a child? Child, speak to me. When I grow up, I'm going to help my dad. I'm going to be a great Pokemon professor. Huh. I guess I never really thought about, um, Professor Elm having a son like that. I didn't realize. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, wow, we're already up to 15 minutes. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, the beginning of this game takes a lot longer to progress than uh, Leaf Green, I suppose. Anyway, so I think I'm going to end the episode here. In the next part, we'll go check out Professor Elm's Pokemon Lab and maybe finally get our first Pokemon. I will see you peeps then.